Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope that your day is off to a great start. We are all so blessed to have been given God's brand new mercies this morning. And we are so thankful and grateful to be in the land of the living, to have good health and to have good strength. We are just so thankful that to have the use and activities of our limbs. Thank you for having a well-functioning mind, a strong mind, a sound mind. Thank you for the blood that's running warm in our veins and all throughout our bodies. Thank you for the use and activities of our limbs. We are so grateful and thankful to God for all the many things He has done for us, for all of our blessings. We wake up this morning with gratitude in our hearts and we take nothing for granted, thanking God for His brand new mercies that were renewed towards us this morning, for His compassions that never fail, thanking God for His faithfulness, His love, His grace, His favor. Beloved, i just like to encourage you this morning to remain strong in your faith. I want you to remain strong and positive and be assured that God will never leave you nor forsake you. He's with you every step of the way. If you just acknowledge Him in all your ways, He will direct your path. I want you to know that during challenging times, in times of crisis, in times of uncertainty, and when you feel like your back is against the wall, that God is in the spaces working things out for your good. He's not going to leave you. He's not going to forsake you. Even though sometimes it may feel like it. You may be wondering, God, I've been praying. I've been fasting. I've been seeking your face. And I don't see it. I don't feel it. Where are you? Know that he is with you. You've got to know that you know that you know. I want to encourage you to know that God is in between those spaces of instability and stability. God is in the spaces of rough and smooth, failure and success, fear and courage. He's in between big and bigger. He's in between great and greater. He's in between impossible and possible. All things are possible. Nothing is too hard for God. He's in between enough and more than enough. He's between no and yes. When the adversary says no, no, our God says yes. He is in between weak and strong. He's in between closed doors and great fantastic, magnanimous breakthroughs. He's in between our past and our present. He's in between now and our future. He's in the spaces working in the midnight hour, working on hearts and minds in your behalf, working on giving you unprecedented favor. God is working a miracle even now as we speak. God is working a miracle. How many of you are looking for a miracle? I'm looking for a miracle. God is in the spaces of your waiting, of your believing, of your perfecting, of your praying, of you trusting. God is there working it out for your good. For Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Hold on, beloved. Don't give up. Know that God loves you. Know that God knows what's best for you. And know that God has everything in good in store for you. Hold on to this, beloved. Remain strong. Remain brave. Remain bold. Remain courageous. And stand and do it all to stand. Just stand. Stand firm in the word of God. Stand firm on his promises. And know that the best is yet to come. Have a wonderful day. Have a prosperous day. Walk in the FOG in the favor of God. Love your life and I love you to life. God bless you.